there's a kid here and he's obviously one of the lokes uh he has a monster hat on he just took his shirt off and he has a big monster logo is this your first time seeing him yeah yeah he's legendary what yeah he has he's, uh, he's like he was instagram famous for a second because he got that monster tattoo i didn't know i think monster gave him like a lifetime supply of monster for it or something or he tried to get it i don't know if he got it or not but there's something about that that there's a okay. story i thought i was like oh my god it proves i live under a rock you know yeah okay <laughs> Someone's learning now the crooks today. And by that, I mean he already learned them. Do one. I landed like three, I think. Four. You did three in a row, and then you did two before that. So total five. I was saying to Dan, how you roll up for this trick is like this. And I feel like Jeremy Rogers, like back in the early Oh, your feet all close together. Yeah, he had his foot like by the tail, trying to like nolly into a crook. I haven't nollied yet. It's been a minute since I've nollied anything, so. Yeah. Nice. That looked really good. Like once you lock, it's all over. You just then it's you just a cricket grind. That that uh, spot you need to pinch. Yeah. And you can just push it out. I feel like popping out of an ollie K grind is easier than popping out of a straight ollie K grind. Huh? Because you're not just adjusting from your back foot to your front foot. You're yeah. just staying on your front all foot. Your weight's right there. So I have the same. Me and my friends always made made the joke like uh, if someone put a gun to my head and said you have to get into a front crook right now, I would nollie into it. Yeah. Oh, that was crazy. That was yeah, I don't like that at all. Don't do that. I thought too much. Right, I get what you mean. Yep. I feel like my body didn't turn at all. Dude. You did that so good. That was second try. Yeah, don't ever un unwind. Just stay like that. How do you, I want to be able to like really get all the way around. You did, you just did it. You just did it so good. My shit was like this. Yeah, your shit was sick. Everyone loved it. Twisted. Comment twisted down below about how shit sick his, his. <laughs> shitty my, my twister was. How sick his twist was. <laughs> Comment down below how sick his twist was. I like that push. Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> that was solid. Yeah. I just put up to Dowdy's place. He's got that concrete backyard mini that has a pool coping on it. And uh, yeah, I think we're gonna sesh that for a little bit and then maybe hit a park. But I haven't skated transition in a very long time. So I warn you guys, it's gonna be like watching a baby giraffe riding a skateboard, so.
Dax Miller. That was great. Keep going. <laughs> that was sick. That was so sick. That seemed easier than doing the whole manual thing. Yeah, like the little nollie out at the end. Yeah, but going straight off the end, that looked cool. I heard you hit too. Did I? Yeah, your wheel like clipped on the way not out. Jeez. Made it better. Oh, he's going kind of fast. Easier than the thought in my head. First try, I knew it. It's a nice gradual like. Yeah. You feel like it... you're hopping under like a downrail. No, it's like a long flat bar yeah. that's slightly planted. And it's really like because of the angle, like you just glide onto it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Thanks. Gravity's very forgiving. That was sick. <laughs> I've been putting this off and procrastinating. I haven't made a video in a very long time. It's been like over a month since I uploaded on YouTube. People have been writing in the comments like, "Yo, are you okay? Where you at?" People have been DMing me, asking me when I'm gonna upload and. If I'm done with YouTube or whatever. Truth is, I've just been super comfortable lately, and I know that comfortability is something that's not good. I'm kind of getting too comfortable in the States, and I need to pull my finger out and do something about it because the longer I let it go on for, the worse and worse I feel. I just feel like all this weight stacking up on my shoulders. Like, another week you haven't uploaded to YouTube, like, when are you gonna do something about it? And I keep pushing it to the back of my mind and putting it on the back burner where it doesn't belong. It's not that I haven't been skating, it's just that I haven't been making videos. All the footage you've seen now has been from me skating over the past few weeks or month or whatever. Um, I'm still having fun skating, still love being out here, skating with all my friends and stuff. It's just, I haven't made a video because, like, I feel a bunch of self-doubt, like, no one cares about my videos unless there's skateboarding in it or that my videos just aren't interesting. And that's just me telling myself that I know that it's probably not the case because people message me all the time and they're like, yo, I love watching your videos. You're so relatable and easy to watch. So I do really appreciate the support. It's just, yeah, I need to pull my finger out. People have said, I've read in comments on other videos, people have said that I've put on weight and stuff, which I guess I have because I'm in like this super nice loving relationship now and I don't feel stressed or like I'm walking on eggshells. So I put on some comfort weight you can probably see it more in my face i just wanted to update you guys and tell you where i was at sorry for not making videos i feel really guilty about it honestly like i feel like i've let down so many different people but that's just me being hard on myself i know you guys are happy with like whenever i do upload i just want to make it more of a consistent thing because being inconsistent sucks it's like lame i'm trying to be consistent i need to get over being comfortable here and pull my finger out and get busy but I'm not gonna babble on for too long. Hopefully the skating in this video makes up for my absence. I do apologize for being away from YouTube. Um, a couple of exciting things, Evening Mob, we came out with a bunch of new hats that are really sick and new t-shirts. I actually printed the t-shirts myself, so if you guys wanna support, head on over to eveningmob.com, pick something up. I gotta realize that there's a bunch of like OG day one people from back when I was in Australia making videos compared to now. So I've got to say what's up to all the new people. Thank you for subscribing. There's probably going to be other types of content too. Like I've been getting more into like riding my dirt bike and stuff. So yeah, sorry for my absence. Hope this makes up for it. Love and appreciate all the support from you guys. And yeah, hopefully it's not too long before I upload another video. Cause I'm kind of getting the itch. Like I need to be making like more and more videos. Like last year I tried to pump out as many videos as I could. 
I think last year was like maybe two, three a week. I could be wrong, but I remember being so much more busier with videos at this point last year. So yeah, I wanna get back to that kind of base. Cheers for watching the video. See you guys in the next one. Red, I want you to go to his house. Blow that joint up, don't let nobody out. Oh, get trigger man, bring him to me. Cause I'm tired of this trigger man stuff in Tennessee. Now all the time while this stuff is going on, I called up another roadie on my flip phone. Junior, I want you to call down the Texas Special Order.